Once you identify the IP address the MPF EN1 needs to communicate to the connected devices, it's time to use the MPF EN1 setting tool. You can download the software for free from keyins.com. Just use the link in the description of this video. Before trying to use the software, make sure the MPF EN1 is connected to an Ethernet port on your computer. In this example, I want to set an IP address of 192.168.100.1 on the MPF EN1. In order to do this, the Ethernet port on my computer needs to have a different IP address that is on the same subnetwork. So 192.168.100.2 would work just fine. I can check and change the IP address on my Ethernet port by opening the control panel, selecting Network and Sharing Center, and then selecting Change Adapter Settings. This shows all of the network adapters on your computer. Find your computer's Ethernet port here and double click on it. From the list that shows up, double click on Internet Protocol Version 4 and parentheses TCP IPv4. Check the box that says use the following IP address and then specify the IP address you want to use. Again, I'll use 192.168.100.2. Enter 255.255.255.0 for the subnet mask and leave the default gateway blank. Once you're finished, press OK, press OK again, and exit out of the windows. If you already have the MPF EN1 setting tool open, and you change your computer's Ethernet adapter settings, please close and then reopen the MPF EN1 setting tool in order for the changes to take place. When you open the MPF EN1 setting tool, the first thing to do is select your Ethernet adapter from the Select Network field. The IP address should match what we did in the previous step. Next, click on Search Device, and you should see the MPF EN1 populate with no IP address. Select it, and then select Set IP Address. In the menu, you can input the IP address you want the MPF EN1 to have. In this case, I'll input 192.168.100.1. For the subnet mask, I'll input 255.255.255.0, and then leave the default gateway how it is, and press OK. After this, you should be able to confirm the IP address transferred to the MPF EN1 in the list of devices. If you're having trouble getting the MPF EN1 to show up in the MPF EN1 setting tool, and you are sure that the MPF EN1 is connected to your computer's Ethernet port, here are some troubleshooting steps to follow. Make sure that the MPF EN1 setting tool is using the correct Ethernet adapter from the Select Network field. Double check that nobody you work with has already set an IP address to the MPF EN1. If they have, change your computer's Ethernet adapter's IP address to be on the same subnetwork as the IP address on the MPF EN1. Restart the MPF EN1 setting tool after doing this, and search for devices once again. Make sure the MPF EN1 setting tool is allowed through your computer's firewall. You might need to get your IT department's help with this, but you can likely accomplish this by opening the control panel, selecting Windows Defender Firewall, and then selecting Allow an App or Feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Find the MPF EN1 setting tool in this list and check all three boxes. If you cannot find it in the list, you'll need to add it. Click Change Settings and then select Allow Another App. In the new window, select Browse, and then locate the MPF EN1 application in your computer's program files. Once you find it, double click, and then select Add. After this, make sure all three boxes are checked. If you cannot check all three boxes, please request help from your network administrator. Once you've got all three checked, press OK, and then close out of all the windows. If you still have the MPF EN1 setting tool open, 
please exit out of the software and reopen it to allow the changes to take place. If you still cannot find the MPF EN1, there is likely other firewalls in place and please reach out to your network administrator.